Okay, so welcome to Beezer Homes in Roseville, California. This is the largest floor plan, plan three. It is over 2,400 square feet, four possible five bedroom. Uh, let's take a tour of it. This is in West Roseville. This is our new community. They just started building and it's pretty amazing. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Sacramento's number one YouTube channel for all real estate news regarding Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if that's you, hit that subscribe button and that bell will bring you bi-weekly content. We also go live every Wednesday at 5.30. So tune in, let's get going and let's talk a little Sacramento right now. Okay, so we're about ready to check out plan three by Beezer Homes. This is 2465 square feet. It can be four or five bedrooms. It's a Sioux story with a backyard, definitely big enough for a pool. Um, let's go take a look um, at this amazing house. Okay. Okay, I do like the entrance. The only thing that I'm not liking is those, those little kind of like, a, that's making it feel a little shorter and a little more compact. Um, but it's a beautiful house, don't get me wrong. Okay, over here you have the first bedroom. Very roomy, very spacious. You can definitely get a queen. Actually, you probably get a king in here, although um, it might be a little tight. You got nice large windows. Very cool. And then you got a sliding closet as well over there. Okay, and then right over here you have the bathroom. Single sink, high ceilings is all. Why is in uh, these are homes that have the high ceilings. So this bathroom is gonna be servicing that first bedroom, which is nice. I love how they put the bathtubs in. Honestly, I know they're a little old school, but at the same time, if you have kids, bathtubs are so clutch. Okay, there's a nice little area there where you can put your like nice little interior design touch on your house, which is nice. Okay, over here you got a closet. Most of the new homes are gonna have some sort of closet here. And this one, man, this one goes pretty deep. Uh, they don't have a light I can turn on, but I'm guessing it goes all the way back down there. Okay, so. You go here, just before you get the great room, you're gonna see the staircase that takes you to your second floor. Nicely done. You got Beezer on the TV. Not lots of windows, which I like. Very, very nice, great room concept, which as I keep talking about is super hot. This is nice. Then you got your mud room that goes out to, I believe, a two or three car garage. Very, very nice. Nice storage area over there. You got the pantry with the frosted glass, which I think is a perfect combination of what a pantry should have. I don't believe in those clear windows. My pantry never looks that great. Okay, so then you got nice backsplashes. And like I said, at Beezer, you're not gonna pay a ton for upgrades. In comparison to like a Taylor or Richmond, Beezer is pretty um, reasonable for their upgrades, so. All right, there you got the washer, or the microwave and the stove. You got nice, thick. Ugh. And you got the nice sink over here. Sink, so you can kind of watch this as, as you're watching everyone play in your pool. Because that, my friends, back, that backyard, my friends, is a backyard you can have a pool in. All right, so let's take another look at this room. Like I said, nice, nice, nice house. Big room concept. So let's go outside just for a quick second, and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, so like I said before, guys, the backyard is one of the things that drew me to these models for the most part. I've always been a fan of Beezer just because they're energy efficient, but the backyards that I saw here, you know, you can have a pool, you can have a sitting area. I mean, you guys gotta understand the fact that like, this also includes a covered patio, right? So you got the covered patio and you still have enough space in the backyard for a pool. So let's do the old uh, test. I'm gonna go out there and I'll show you how deep this thing really is. Okay, so like I said, look how deep this thing is. The camera right now is set in the covered patio, like right in the middle of the covered patio. The covered patio has gotta be at least 12 to 15 feet. Now maybe like 10 to 12 feet. And then this is pretty deep. 
This is the stuff you can't get at most builders. There, it just doesn't. And the lot of premiums you're going to pay to get something like this is going to be a little ridiculous. So that's kind of what that looks like. So also, you're going to have some recessed lighting. You can probably put on a fan as well because, as we all know, it heats up. Sacramento, look at that. You got your outdoor kitchen as well. And you got room enough for a pool right there. I'm loving that. All right, let's go back in and take a look at the rest of the house. So like I said, this is their plan three. Really, really nice. I think if I was gonna pick a plan, I'd probably pick the plan two myself. Um, something about the entryway on this one just didn't speak to me. But uh, now they pull out the loft. Man, I love the lofts. Love, love lofts. I think lofts are one of the coolest things that they start putting into houses. Look at that area. Very, very nice. You can put in a big L-shaped couch, big TV, lots of natural light. Slick. I do like it. And here's a vantage point from the loft for the stairs. All right, so let's go into one of the bedrooms right now. Roomy. Queen size, easy. Slider. Now that right there is the main bedroom, but we'll take that out, check that out last. Okay, so over here, you have a nice little area for more storage. Super cute. Over here, you're gonna have a washroom. No, dang, Beezer, you pulled a fast one on me. Okay, so here is the bathroom. You got the double sinks, high ceilings, and right here you got, this is the bathroom servicing both, all the bedrooms except for the main bedroom up here. All right, turning the corner, you got the washroom. Let's see if we can turn the light here too. Okay, pretty deep. Personally, myself, I'd put in some more cabinets there and probably some more storage and stuff here. But this would be the main place I'd put stuff. Okay. And then over here, yeah, another bedroom. This is a very nice bedroom, very spacious. Definitely queen size bed. A little bit of a walk-in closet over there. Lots of natural light. The only thing I will say that's a negative about it is the fact that uh, Very, very slick. Sorry about that ringing. All right, let's go check out the main bedroom. Okay, so the stairs are right here. And here is the main bedroom. Boom. All right, like I said, every single one of these models has a huge main bedroom. King size bed for sure. Really nice. Lots of natural light. Lots of recessed lighting as well. Very nice. Bathtub score. Nice window as well. You got the shower. Really, really cool. Then over here. The loo. I think I might call it the loo from now on. And a nice shower. Very, very slick. These Beezer homes are really, really nice. And cheaper than Taylor. Much cheaper than Taylor, truthfully. If you think of the um, price you can pay on upgrades, which is cheaper, a lot of premiums cheaper, and just the home in general is gonna be cheaper. So, okay, and here you go. Let's do just the whole walk-in closet thing. Very, very deep closet. Very nice. Nice walk-in closet. Some nice carpeting too. Very, very cool. So that's plan three 
at Beezer. It's the largest plan, which is nice. Uh, lots of natural light. So if you're someone who's looking for maybe a loft, lo looking for a little more uh, space up top as well to hang out, this could be it. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoy this tour of Plan 3 at Beezer Homes in Roseville, California. Like I said, Beezer is one of my favorite builders because they don't kill people with the upgrades. They're very energy efficient. They do things other builders actually don't do. So if you want a little bit of information about that, let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour and hopefully you go to Roseville to check out Beezer Homes and hopefully you bring me with you. Guess what guys, the video just ended. But don't worry, we have more videos just like that one right over there. And if you missed that red subscribe button during the course of the video, we got you covered right there. Hit that subscribe button. We promise to bring you some amazing content. We won't let you down. Now, if you're looking for a team in the Sacramento metro area to work with, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always include a Zoom link down below. So book a time where we can talk to you a little one-on-one, -on -one, find out exactly what your real estate needs are.